Krishna Paksham and Shukla Paksham. That means that Krishna Paksham means it starts from the full next day or full moon day to the dark day. This is the Krishna Paksham. Krishna Paksha starts from brightness towards the darkness of the moon. Krishna Paksham ended on the day of Amavasya and the day is called as full dark day. You can't find the moon and the sky. Sukla Bhaksham is the starts from the dark next day of the full dark day to the full moon day is called the Sukla Bhaksham. That period you can we can find the moon little bit, little bit, little bit, then we can find the full moon day. Sukla Bhaksha starts from the darkness towards the brightness. These are the two Pakshas in a particular month. So for a year, let us say we are in the Sopa Gudu, is the name of the year. In the particular year, we have a 12 months. So that we have a 12 dark day and 12 full moon day. This is a film, this is why I have a video, I have a video I just played. You can have an idea about the full moon day and full dark day. See in the bottom the earth is revolving, one round is a one day, slightly it is, moving, it is revolving as well as the moon is also moving. Now we can find the full dark day, this is the Amma Vasya. Again, again the earth is also revolving as well as the sun is also rotating. Now it, the moon starts and it slowly grows. This paksham is called the Sukla paksham. This is the full moon day. For this, the complete rotation of moon, at the same time the earth rotates 30 times, we can find. Again I will play. The earth rotates 30 times, that means 30 days crossed, we can find one full moon day and one dark day. There are, we can cross two Pakshams, Sukla Paksham and Krishna Paksham. That Pakshams have 15 days. One Paksham have 15 days. How we can mention the 15 days? Tidhi. There are 14 Tidhis and one full moon day of Amavasya and one Full moon day Paurnami and full dark day Amavasya. These are all the names of the Titi. First one is Pradama Titi. Second one is Bhitiya. Based on that Sanskrit, the words are there. Pradama means first, Vidya, second. Tridhya, third one, third day. Pratama means 
first day after the ekadashi uh, after the full moon day or after the full dark day that is the prathama first day dvitiya second day after the full moon day or a full dark day tritiya third day from the full moon day or the full dark day chaturthi panjami sashti sashti means sixth day saptami seventh day ashtami eighth day navami ninth day dasami tenth day ekadashi eleventh day dvadashi trayadashi chaturdashi chaturdashi means 14th day again pournami if you start from amavasya pradama dvitiya after the chaturdashi is pournami if you can start your calendar from pournami that means full moon day pournami pradama dvitiya tritiya chaturthi after the chaturdashi amavasya these are all the hindu calendar setups in the very first session i quoted that in the temples the priests are using the sangarbham they use some words all those words are mentioning the days only i just repeat during the sangalpam priest chant that sveda varaha kalpe vaivasva da manvantare ashtavimsati tame tatra kaliyuge we are in the kaliyugam in the name of the year kaliyuge ಸೋಭಗೃದು ನಾಮ ಸಂವತ್ಸರೆ ದೆನ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಯನ ಆರ್ ಉತ್ತರಾಯಣ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಯನ ಸೊ ವಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಯನೆ ಸೋಭಗೃದು ನಾಮ ಸಂವತ್ಸರೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಯನೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶರತ್ ಋತು ನೌ ದೇ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಶರತ್ ಋತು they mention the month name tula maase tula maase means aipasi month you can find here chitrai vaiga chitrai is called as mesha maase vaigasi rishabha maase like that we are in the aipasi month as per the tamil calendar tula maase then pakshe where we are we are cross the full moon day or we are cross the full dark day based on that they mention the paksha krishna pakshe or shukla pakshe after that tithi the particular date after the which dates from the full moon day or full dark day let us say for the sixth day from the full moon day they mention that shakti shakti aha <coughs> ಶುಕ್ಲಪಕ್ಷೆ ವಸಂತ ಶರತ್ ಋತು ತುಲಾ ಮಾಸೆ ಷಷ್ಟಿಯ ಸಪ್ತಮಿಯ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸಂಡೇ ಮಂಡೇ ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಡೆ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವೀಕ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಸಂಡೇ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೇ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೈನ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ this is as per the hindu calendar system sunday sun is influencing on the sunday monday moon is influencing on the monday on tuesday angarha is influencing on tuesday in the navagraha you can find the orders sun moon angarha buda guru shukra shani the seven are the major planets and the rahu ketu are the same one but they have different setup uh, let me explain later on on wednesday budhan is the budhan is the graha influencing on the day on thursday guru graham is influencing on the particular day on friday shukra graham is influencing on the day and saturday sunigraham is influencing on the day rahu and ketu 
Who is Rahu and Ketu? They are all the shadow planets. In English, it's a shadow planets. In Tamil, it's called Chaya Graham. They don't have a dates. What, who is Rahu first? Rahu have a snake body with the human head and the Kedu is snake head with the human body. Due to the Mahadev's curse, they were like that. They went to Mahadeva, Mahashiva. Oh God, all the seven major planets have their own day, but we don't have. Anyhow, we are in the nine planets, major nine planets, Navagraha, we are in the Navagrahas, but we don't have dates. We need the dates. Like that, they asked Lord Mahadeva, Maha, Mahadeva Shiva. Then Mahadev called all the seven planets, asked them to share three hours in a day to Rahu Kedu. Mahadeva asked all the seven planets, that is Sun, Moon, Angaraha, Buddha, Guru, Shukra, Sunny, asked them to share your three hours in your day to Rahu Kedu. Then the Rahu Kedu has to take the three hours, each one and a half hours, one and a half hours. Now we can come to the calculation that in a day, 24 hours. In that, three hours gone. So, 21 hours. Like that, all the seven grahams give their three hours from their particular day. Altogether, Rahu and Kedu got 21 hours. What is the hours the particular seven major plants influencing? The same way Rahu and Kedu also influencing 21 hours in a week. This means a week, Sunday, sun have influencing 21 hours in that particular 24 hours. On the Sunday, Rahu will take one and a half hours. That is called the Rahu column. And Ketu take another one and a half hours, that is called Yamagandam. During all the days, you can find the Rahu column and the Yamagandam on different timings. Let us say for a Sunday evening by 4.30 to 6 is the Rahu column. On Monday, the Rahu column will be from 7.30 to 9. Like that, each every planet gives three hours to Rahu and Kedu and Rahu Kedu consumes one and a half hours each, respectively, on the all day. So, in a particular week, all the Nayan Grahas influencing 21 hours a day. This is the Hindu calendar setup. Now, I can again repeat the Sangalpam. You can have an idea easily. Sveta Varaha Kalpe Vaivasvada Manvantare Tatra Kaliyuge Sopadradhinama Sambatsare Dakshina Ine Tulamase Sharadrado Tulamase Sukla Bakshe Saptamya Supatito Vasaraha Stiravasara Yuktayam. This is the sun Saturday. They mentioned Saturday as a Stiravasaram. Sunday they mentioned as the Banu Vasaram. And Monday is Hindu Vasaram. Tuesday is Boma Vasaram. Wednesday is Saumya Vasaram. Thursday is a Guru Vasaram. Friday is the Sukra Vasaram. Saturday is the Stira Vasaram. Like that they mentioned. The particular day they mentioned with the Hindu calendaring system is like this. This is the Hindu calendaring system we follow. Do you have any 
questions or doubts you can ask me now All are requested to unmute your uh, system. Then you can have a question or you can have a doubt. You can ask me. Do you have any doubts or questions? You can ask me. Uh, you said um, once Kaliyugam happens that... Uh, One second, I'll just go to the screen now. You said once Kali Yudham happens that um, the next uh, uh, the next Malukkal happens, but once Kali Yudham happens in uh, when uh, Lord Vishnu takes uh, Kalki Avataram, uh, doesn't he uh, burn the world or something? See, the end of the Yugam based on the Mahavishnu's Avatar. It's called a pralayam. The entire universe immerses in the water again the new beginning. For that you have to have a look on that Dashavadharams. You can go to the Mashyavadharam, very first one. King Al Mashyavadharam during the Avatar, Lord Mahavishnu asked the king, Swayam Bhavani, who is the king name. He asked to build a ship and board all the animals, living things, grains, everything. After that, you have to tie the ship in the horns of the fish. I will take you to your new world, new beginning. You have to start from there, like that. Lord Mahavishnu took the avatar and he saved God the, all the peoples, all the animals, all the living goods, everything. Then start the new yuga. This is the cycle. See, after the see after Kali Yuga, what is the yuga? Sati Yuga. Yes. This is the cycle. These four cycles, once the four cycles complete that, then we can go to the next Manu. Now we are in the Vaivasvata Manu. What is the next Manu after the Kali Yuga? Uh, Surya Savan Yuga. Exactly. So this keep on uh, cycling. This is what the Hindu calendaring system and the Hindu belief. So, um, Lord Mahavishnu took uh, Kalki Avataram seven times to uh, for us to be in. Absolutely, all the he took say, let us say he took for more than fourteen times of uh, Rama Avatar, fourteen times of Krishna Avatar. Can take the manu. See in the Yuga Kali in the Dwapara Yuga one Krishna Avatar. The entire year. 8,64,000 gap years of the Dwapara Yuga. In the Dwapara Yuga, one Krishna Avatar. Once this cycle completed, then we can go to the next Manu. Again, the same Kruta Yuga, Dwapara Yuga, Dwapara Yuga. The same way, Masya Avatara, Purma Avatara, Paraha Avatara. Like the Dwapara Yuga, Krishna Avatara, and the Kali Yuga, we can find the Kalki Avatara. This is the belief. Unmute, please. Unmute. 
Please unmute your system, then you can ask. Little bit louder, I can't hear you. In the Kali Yugam, ah, I have told you that in the Kali Yugam there are more than 4 lakhs, 4 lakhs of years. Which year we are living? Good question, very good question. See, we can find the Panjangam that Kali Yuga, the 5000 and something numbers. Now we are in the after Kali Yugam starts, we are in the 5000 years. Still, we have more than 4 lakh 28 years, 28,000 years. We just crossed 5,000 years after the Kali Yuga starts. So out of uh, 432,000 30, years, only 5,000 years 5,000 years we are crossed. Okay, another 400... Uh, 4 lakh 20, let us say, uh, yeah. the exact numbers. After the 5,000 years still, we have to mm -hmm. face all this. So the Kali Yuga, another four, more than four hundred years. Yes. No. So did uh, Krishna say, uh, Vishnu say, uh, which year he will be coming here as a, like a Kalki Avadar? See, um, the major Avadars are ten Dasa Avadars. Beyond that, Lord Vishnu took so many Avadars. Whenever there is a trouble for the Dharma, he took Avadars. Again, he installed the Dharma in the same place. Yeah. For that, he took many more avatars. In the Dasa avatars, we can't find the High Griva avatars. High Griva avatar. Even High Griva is also an incarnation of Mahavishnu. The purpose of High Griva avatar is to safeguard the Veda. Now, Kalki avatar, like uh, in 6000 years or like 5000 years or like two? After 4 lakh 32,000 years only, Kalki avatar will come. Oh, uh, end of the Kalki uh, Yuga. During, uh, during the Dwapara Yuga, what Mahavishnu Maha in the form of Krishnu, he told Lord Parikshit, Lord Parikshit, you can find the cow with the four legs. This is called the Kali Yuga. The cow with the four legs. Time being, one by one, the cow missed his legs. That, that is the Krishna said. After Krishna Avadaram finished, the Dwapara Yuga finished. Dwapara Yuga finished, but the entire universe is not immersed in the water. Still we can find the place where Krishna played. Still we can find the place where the Dharma Yudham happened. Still we can find the Krishna's palace under the water. Some, some, some places we can find under the water, some places we can find in the land itself. Like that. After the 4,32,000 years, earth years, Lord Mahavishnu is going to take a Kalki avatar. In the meantime, he sent lot of people from the heaven. He sent Garuda as any one form and he has to install all this again reinstall the dharma in a particular place like that he can sending the peoples sometimes you know that goda devi goda devi is in the form of bhu devi bhumi the bhumi lakshmi bhumi lakshmi in uh, in Srivili you can find goda lakshmi like that what is the purpose of the birth of goda lakshmi this is an avatara of bhumi lakshmi Lord Mahavishnu send the peoples, keep on sending the peoples to reinstall the dharma in place. But finally, there is no other option, no other go. At the time only, Lord Mahavishnu come in any one form like uh, Dasa during the Dasa Avadara's time. 
like that kalki avadaram in the kal in the time of uh, four after four lakh thirty two thousand years, Lord Mahavishnu come as a kalki avadar. The entire universe may be immense. Again, the new beginning, new start, like that. At that time, he chose one person, like uh, Swayamvara Manu, king, like uh, King Swayamvara Manu, like that. He find out person. He asked the person to save God all the living things. I am going to put you in a safe place. The entire universe is going to be immersed or uh, born like lightning. Thanks. So, um, when, let's say in one yuga, uh, for Kali Yuga, which is what we are in, uh, you said there's 4,32,000 yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So, uh, in the next month, uh, will it be the uh, in the next after Kali Yuga is done, and the next Kali Yuga comes, then is it going to be four lakh thirty two thousand years uh, earth years again, or yes. will it be a different? One? Yes, same. See, this is the setup. These see, you, you find the numbers. This, this has some magic. It's it's doubling. The yugas, 4,32, doubling the Dwabara Yuga, 8,64. So, half of the Dwabara Yuga is the one Kali Yuga. These numbers are having some magics. Dwabara and Kali Yuga, both Treda Yuga. Yes. And all three Treda Yuga, Dwara Yuga, Kali Yuga, Satya Yuga. These are all the magicals. For Lord Krishna, this is, for him, this is nothing. Thank you. Actually, Kali Yuga and Treda Yuga both forms like a Satya Yuga. Yeah, the, the, the numbers, yes. the numbers are like that. Number, okay. Thank you. Thank you all. And for the next session, we are going to discuss about the Sudarshana Mahimai and Yega Desi Vrata Mahimai. This is the chapter we are going to discuss on the next session. Next session will be on next Sunday evening by 3.45. Who is Sudarshana Sam? Sudarshana, Sakara Tarva. Sudarshana Mahimai. Sudarshana Mahimai. Okay. Yega uh, Desi Vrata Mahimai. So two topics. One is like a one is a no, 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 Sudarshana. Same one. Okay. Same one. Same one. Sudar, Sudar Yega Desi Vrata Mahimai. Yega Desi Vrata Mahimai. Um, Sudarshana is one part in the Yega Desi Vrata Mahimai. Ekadesi doesn't have a lot of uh, concepts. In that, particularly, we have to take the Sudarsana Mahime. Okay. Lord Sudarsana's. Lord Sudarsana's portion. Lord Sudarsana's portion in the Ekadesi Brata Mahime. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. One second.